Cross-docking, while a fairly simple process, helps to increase operational efficiency in highly complex supply chains. Each business's supply chain varies in complexity due to a multitude of factors. These factors determine how and when cross-docking should be used. There are four main scenarios when cross-docking is used most frequently. The most frequently encountered use of cross-docking is when the demand for any given inventory item is stable and shows strong consistency. These items can be placed on a recurring fulfillment schedule using cross-docking. This eliminates the need for surplus inventory to be stored in case of out-of-stock situations. Cross-docking is also often used when handling time-sensitive and perishable inventory. Due to the reduced shelf life, inventory needs to reach retailers with a reasonable remaining shelf life. By foregoing storage and utilizing cross-docking, delivery time is reduced. This provides the goods with a longer sales window. In the case of discount retailers such as TJ Maxx, product selection varies by day. Because customers cannot expect a specific inventory item to be in stock, cross-docking can be utilized to quickly deliver bulk shipments of varying inventory on a recurring schedule. In this case, out-of-stock scenarios are not a concern, and storing surplus inventory is not necessary. Lastly, cross-docking is used when fulfilling orders for which customers are willing to wait. With items such as appliances and furniture, customers typically expect a short delivery period. Rather than storing these large items in store or at a distribution center, retailers can efficiently fulfill orders from a single facility using cross-docking to help reduce the delivery period. Stay tuned to this series to learn more about how cross-docking can benefit your business. For additional information or inquiries, please contact Daytex Logistics experts today.